Uh, do I want to burn any bodies? Hmm, maybe not yet. We're still looking around. Got to make it through two rooms downstairs. Uh, right, the, the little ATM. Drop down, go left, see what's over there. Then we're going to have to come all the way back right, so there's still going to be a bunch of enemies once we drop down again. Uh, which means I should probably carry more to fight with. Uh, I only got one stun rod, so that's not going to be enough. Um, let's... You know what? It was kind of a crowded situation. Let's switch to the shotgun. And see if shooting in a straight line can't down multiple enemies at once. If we get lucky. Um... Yeah. This could help the situation. Two slots free. We're going to drop that again so that we don't have to go through two rooms. This way. Oh shit, I forgot we left some stuff in here. Oh shit, that's true. That's true, that's true, that's true. Uh, ah, fuck. Right. Well, that's useful for what we're doing. Um, so that ain't bad. But I forgot about those. Wasted a shot, and we're good in here. Healing. As always, right on time. But as we're entering the orange, and the save room. Patient key. Oh. Oh, I was not expecting a save room. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Perfect. Okay. Patient key. Put this away. Actually, reload yourself. Patience key. Room 512. Okay. Now we can go back up. Alright, two doors. Nice. Two ladders and a threat. Two threats. Three. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Uh, that's a big old fucking party right over there. Um, and let's just see what's out this door over here. Real quick. 
Red room. Red room. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, subway station. Done with you. Okay. Where is this? Alleyway. Ah. Hard right from the corridor. And this leads up to... Apartments upper floor alleyway. Okay. Alright, well before this... Let's just sprint through here, unlock that door, check that other one, and try to make the best of that situation. Uh, there should also be another way into that door on the left. So, before you ambush... We do this. Red. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. About time for you to get back up. That makes sense. Uh, we still don't know the Ito code, so you can waste all your fucking breath. But this room is active again. Uh, back down the hole. Up the fire escape. Through the new door. And we're gonna get a chance to... Empty our pockets. Not that we really need to. Well, yeah, I guess drop that off. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. So... They're on your ass pretty quick right out the door. Okay. Not unless they go back to their positions. Um... Okay, 512 is unlocked, and yeah, let's go check out that top floor. Uh, yeah, we did the cycle. We unlocked the door. Might as well. Might as well. And I'll pick up the 512 key once I'm passing back on the other save room. One seventy. You don't have to turn your radio on in these sequences either. It's just automatically on because you're under attack. Oh shit, there's an enemy right there. Oh fuck, don't move. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. I don't know what happens when you walk in the circle, but obviously it cannot be good. Like, I feel like if there was a, a threat that you had to kind of, like, move through those circles when they lightened up, when they got smaller, that would be one thing, but... Uh... We could just wait for the number, right? Wait for the next number? 148. <laughs> I 
Now, I tell you what, uh, the the time that that flashes on screen for is absolutely uh, streamer kryptonite. Because if the streamer start, decides to look away from the game screen for a moment and down to their stream uh, while that's happening, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Which is a very unique thing that you that you don't get at home. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's I'm like the speed. The exact speed is the time it takes to glance down and glance back up. Uh, flashlight, please don't alert anybody. Wiedervernengung. Kitez, Bayan. Right. The orbits. Cannons. Reunification. Uh, reunification at any cost. Orbital defense cannon battery Veneta 12. Bayan and Kitez in our crosshairs. Artillery divisions of the People's Army. Fuck that. Oh. We are on the other side of the magpie box. Okay. <laughs> Six doors to check. Some of them are blue. Moonlight, Sonata. Inventory full. Might need to pop this in a second in case our hands get. Yep. Hands are getting full. We got a safe to crack open. L Star. Not the code. Whatever's in that safe is also going to take up a slot. Butterflies. Pareidolia. Bioresonance technology and its limitations. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of the Empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like the climaforming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant effects with conventional technology. Our progress is in the development, our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt host to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. Interesting. Okay. So, um, I definitely was considering up until this point that the war with the Empire could have easily have been could have, could have easily been some sort of like red herring like the 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 war with Eurasia you know what I mean it could have been a very uh, 1984 type of thing um, you're just trusting the logs however uh, what it sounds like here is um, the war with the Empire is based on uh, rebellion and revolution and reunification against the empire to create uh this government we have here so this shitty authoritarian uh, uh dream crushing uh power class that we have ruling everything in this in this setting uh, of, of the nation 
uh, came out of the Empire. And so that's why they find themselves fighting with it. Of course, anything called the Empire, I can only imagine how lovely of a place that is. And the replica technology actually helped them by giving them the ability to climaform other planets, which then Gestalts could live on. Um, so this entire system we're, we're under and what we're doing is part of the reason that uh, the nation was able to uh, yeah, expand to begin with and I guess find their own space because they're trying to um, they're trying to find new planets <sighs> interesting and of course never mind the fact that the replicas are yeah bioorganic bioorganic uh, bioresonance is the word they're using but you, you invent artificial people and then you you put the memories in well just because it's a 3d printed person but obviously that's that's the whole point with 3d printed meat uh, we need to lighten our load and we're walking into a bunch of other rooms some of which might be very important plus a bunch of enemies huh also, why is this alley so long? Seems like it's just that one ledge. Um, Alright, the path back here is a straight shot from the save room, so that ain't too bad. Okay. If not Elster, then... Well, there's a couple of other units it could be. Could be a... Calibri. Could be a... Mina. Could be an Ara Ara. No M's. Mina not allowed. Uh, Elsters pair with... What was the unit type? We learned about them in the file. I want to say together with... Was it with the Minas? No. What was it with? There were two of them in the file together. Uh, known issues. Here we go. Euler and Arar. Eules and Araras. Uh, known issues part two. Stars and Storches. Known issues part three. Minas and Adlers. Was there a known issues part four? I don't think there was. Okay. Well, it could only be so many things. The known issues for the Elster. Part four. It was me by myself, though. Yeah. No, Calibri. Never mind. I'm totally misremembering. All right. Uh, let's try. Let's see if those work. Uh, KLBR. And. No. L. T. A. R. S. B. No. E? Again? L-T-A-R-S-E. Yeah, alright. 
Uh, what fits that designation? Let's see. Maybe it's not even a code for another unit, but seeing L star makes me think it, it is. Could be Adler. Could be Euler. ADLR or Euler. No, it couldn't be ADLR. Could be this. No. All right. There's no D on that second rung, right? Let's just go again. Yeah, no D. Okay. Not Euler, not Adler, not Minor. Not Calibri. Star. STCR. There's no C or A. Oh, there, there it is. Never mind. Star? No. Is there a C? There is not. So, Star and Storch are no good. Um... STCR, RR. A R A R. And yeah. That's the last of my units, possible guesses. But why would it be an Ara Ara? Yeah. Okay. Well, we need more clues. So much for the brute force. So, uh, we need a, a reload, drop these off, drop that off. Two. Unless we forget room 512. Room 512. Back down on the other floor. Probably going to want to burn that body. Yeah, I should have brought a thermite with me. The L star was a red herring. Metapods? 
and the moon. They're moving. These are live cocoons. Alright. And inventory not looking too bad. We can press on, if not ever so slightly. But I want to burn that body. I want to burn the. Yeah, there's six doors in here to, to examine. Let's go fucking grab some thermite. Still got two left. Put the cart away at the very least. Uh, no, no, I just want one. I want that slot back. You know what? Maybe I can try... Ah, am I... Okay, I can risk some damage to try out the thermite as a weapon in and of itself. So this could be interesting if I can walk up to it and just use it right away. Uh, that would be... That would be cool. If I can... Oh, shit! The situation has changed. No, nope, you gotta shoot them first. That's a red door. Oh, meet over the door, you fuckers. You fuckers! Yeah, okay, fine. Okay, that's a reflection. So, there goes that theory. Red disc. Perfect. <laughs> they changed the fucking room. <sighs> Red Magento Magneto Optical Disc. Uh, storage diskette used for office computers. The label says Patients Archived. Well, that hasn't happened in a minute. Ammo. Yeah. Fuck. Should have picked that up first. Okay, let's use let's 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 uh <laughs> let's maybe burn that body, get that slot back, use that, and then pick those both up. So we're gonna need to take the shot. not, since that meat door is all fucking meated up. Am I gonna need to come back here? Hold on a minute. That was the way out, but looks like it's meated up. I don't think I'm gonna need to come back here. Alright, well in that case... Let's just make the room and make a move. Perfect blue, but I'll still hold it. 
Uh, nothing up here. Red door. Okay. That would be too convenient, I suppose. Uh, and then, yeah, I got, I mean... <laughs> door opens from the other side, but fucking does it? Look at all that meat. No, of course it doesn't. Stop talking to me. Yeah, so that's proper. It, the meat shows up, but until you walk up to it, it's not going to update, so there you go. Alright, well, now we can heal. Um, small... We need more than a small heal. Yeah, need at least a medium. And we need one, we actually do need at least one small. Okay, so, one. Alright, room 512. Uh... All the way to the end, up the ladder, or... through here through there oh man I'm starting to get twist turned up upside down again um, uh, shit where what am I looking at here again all right so down here is where we fell go all the way to the side And then you can go back up from the service room out to the second save room, get the key, sit up to the ladder room, ladder room to room 512. Yeah. Okay. So there's going to be a bunch of shit. Uh, going to have to play a little... Yeah. Little chicken over here. Nope. That wasn't enough. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, 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 bad. There's something there. Yeah. All right. And then straight to the end. Right? Right. I thought I could get through that without shooting. <sighs> What's changed? Meat? Oh, good. All right, we got touched again. And... Picked up one of those. Uh, red disc.
med bank medibank and it's the data all right gabriel ang rot front construction worker retired chronic asthma osteoporosis severe hearing loss cochlear implantation requested Roswita Fong. Oh, this is where we're going to get the information we're looking for. Replica technician retired, ROTC. Uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, multiple sclerosis, insomnia. Patient is forgetful about her medication. Waltrode Waltro Gao. Factory worker, irritative bronchial asthma, did not react well to antibiotics. Ito. Date of birth, 14S52P. Okay. There's also Isolde. So, let's recheck those notes. Uh, sprained ankle, grade one, very active in sporting activities. Right, Isolde, Veneta, rot front, shop assistant, minor fracture, left shin, double fracture, right arm, major laceration, forehead, regularly treated for small lesions, very prone to accidents, uh, 1452. They're both twins, therefore they're born on the same day. Well, that solves that. Uh, Ulrich Co. Rot front mechanic. Bronchial asthma. Uh, bronchial infection. Saskia Lee. Rebecca Liang. Liang. Uh, sinus infection. Antidepressant ration was doubled. Hmm. Huh. Nikolai Nguyen. Uh, or Nguyen, rather. Thoracic back pain. Claims to be unable to take part in communal morning exercises. Ariane Young. White hair. Radio officer. Insomnia bruising premature. Achromat achromatricia. But, hmm, that sounds like hair turning white, if I had to guess. Let's learn together. Um, yeah, when I was looking at these, well, these are Gestalt profiles, but I was like, for a second, I was like, are we going to be reading about the uh, original people that were used as the profiles for each replica type. Achromotrichia. Loss of pigmentation in the hair. Yep, turning prematurely gray. There you go. Siegfried Yi. Um, rot front cleaner. Asthma. Dermatitis. Repeated contact to chemical irritants during work. Okay. 1452. And room 512. I imagine the Ito room is probably more important than room 512, so let's save the Ito room for last. Uh, and we still don't know where to use the store key, because we haven't run into the photo store.
Yeah, getting Grey's young ain't that bad. It looks kind of cool. Getting... Having it fall out sucks. But if, if you're just getting the color change, it's, that's... That ain't that bad. As long as you don't... You know, if your face looks young and you still have the hair turning kind of white, that's, that's alright. Okay. So... Uh... Let's see. You go up there, we peep our heads in, and then we make a choice between there and the Ito room. Incredible. Meat. God, picking up the second disc or solving the, the butterfly puzzle seems to have triggered the meat. Yes, sir. Dream Diary. Sixth night, I dreamed I was an imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of Kitez when a storm consumed us. I, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. Thirteenth night. I was a worker in the mines of Lang when I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh. My flesh joined with the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh which persists beyond death. Please don't tell me the flesh walls are collective people and not just printed meat oh god 16th night a storm raged in the sky I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta and, but I never reached the ocean below I kept falling when suddenly lightning struck the building and I woke up uh, 16, 18th night I was floating in a sunless sea below the ice of rot front when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core 19th night. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Boyan. I was walking through the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sun-like iris burned my body to ashes. A different planet on each of these nights. So... This is likely the clue we need for the door. Kitez. Nothing. Uh, Leng. Veneta. Rot front. By Anne. Oh, or it could just be the tarot puzzle, which we turn on a black light to reveal the secrets of. Fuck. Ah, you sons of bitches, you're asking me to literally go fucking empty my pockets to solve this puzzle. You assholes. You absolute dicks. Fuck you. God damn it. All right. All right. Yeah. And this is your title screen, Signalis. Okay. So the tower puzzle solved here. And then Ito room down below, which I believe was... Oh, God. Was it 1542? Or 1452? Well, it's in the archives.
Room solved. Fourteen fifty two. Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I don't know. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Let's make this work. <sighs> Christ. One, two, three, four. Ah, we only have four, so let's just put them... Okay, let's just put them on the table for now. Yeah, let's do it that way, so that we don't have this problem later on. Of having a walk with full-ass pockets. Not solved. Not perfect. If you don't hug the wall... ...completely. Let's not make that mistake again. Okay. So let's make sense of it. Uh... Yes. We embraced... Okay, sixth night. Embraced my lover on Ketez. Sand ground us down till nothing remained. The lovers for Ketez. Thirteenth night. Leng. Minds, mass of flesh, collective of flesh persists beyond death. Doesn't sound like any of these. Um, sixteenth night, Veneta falling from a skyscraper. Eighteenth, Sunless Sea, Moon's Dark Core, Rot Front Moon. And the last one we have is Star. Vian Star. And this will tell us how to get into the other door. Puzzle to the puzzle. Okay. Well, sit tight for now. That feel, I feel like I'm going to need a photo of, so I'll probably pull the eyeball out for that one. Um, Ito Room. Meat Room. Is that what 512 is? As opposed to the other Meat Rooms, Signalis? Hmm. 
Just held down right there. No problems. Mm, let's see if going back the other way gives us the same results. Flashlight. Keypad. Yeah. There's also probably another radio signal. There's a lot of loose ends in the air with puzzle solutions. You can not you can let me in there peacefully. You can let me in there peacefully. You might. You will. Incredible. I didn't believe in it. Word? Fourteen five two. Uh, but let's read that uh, that note we read again. Oh, and while we're at it, clip our shit. I should probably reload my gun. Uh, message inbox. Birthday of my daughters. Born on Veneta. Lacks six digits of their PKZ numbers. Not Rotfront. World of Birth Veneta. World of Birth Veneta. Five six zero oh, five two four. Five six zero oh, five two four. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I guess. Whatever. I, I don't. I guess the date of birth information. Well, he tells you straight up on the PKZ, but the date of birth information doesn't apply. I wonder if it's like 14S52P, like solar cycles or... Eh. The birthday isn't the birthday. One more time, five six oh five two four. Did I hit a wrong button there? Did something happen? Hmm. Anyways. All right, folders, boxes, books. Song of the Gods. Banned. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of, a song that we all dance to but few can hear. This deep vibration in the co of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it 
often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars. Too invasive is the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that cannot only hear and play this music of the worlds, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. What frequency? Tell me. Tell me what frequency so we can fucking bop out. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. Her immense will bent humanity into the empire of Yuzhin and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the empire on their carbon steel backs. I see. So first humanity. So how we got here was a Grand Empress used uh, the power of music that shapes the world to take us to space and then when we got to space and we became the empire uh, of Yuzhin um, some folks rebelled and broke away and across these planets we now have the nation that uses replicas of gestalts but the original empire still had machine servants at that point in time anyway interesting so that's our timeline well yeah okay no wonder that's banned <laughs> that's more than just a fucking song or a book that's some important shit that you don't want people knowing about uh yep censor the shit out of that I get it backroom leads to Wooly versus the algorithm.